A Detroit animal rescue was overwhelmed last week when they received more than 800 parakeets. They were dropped off by the son of an animal hoarder. Since then, other rescues have stepped in to help them out. One in Battle Creek took in nearly 300 of them and is right now in the process of getting them to the point of adoption. News 8's Luke Lasser is following this story for us this evening. Luke, you spoke with the founder of the rescue in Battle Creek. Uh, how has it been for him? Donovan, it's been overwhelming for Shannon Kramer and her team there in Battle Creek. They have it under control and their focus is making sure the birds are healthy enough to find a new home. 800 birds at one time is no joke. After a Detroit rescue organization took on hundreds of parakeets from the son of an animal hoarder, the Michigan rescues have stepped in to provide a hand in rehabbing the colorful birds. Shannon Kramer, the founder of Birds and Beaks Rescue and Rehab, says she's never seen anything like this. She's currently in possession of approximately 290 birds from the initial load of over 800 dropped off on December 23rd at Detroit Animal Welfare Group a load that expected to be barely 100 birds. It doesn't look like 290 parakeets. So I can see where he can say, you know, it's 60 to 80 as he's, you know, trying to get an idea of this right. and not getting the sheer magnitude of the problem. After several days, Kramer says they are currently monitoring the health of the birds in their possession. With the help of Dr. Melissa McNally from Jolly Road Veterinary Hospital, they conduct exams on each bird to determine gender and overall health. <laughs> you don't think I could catch you, huh? I saw you. They're just starting to really settle in and get comfortable get comfortable, eat, use perches. Kramer says that when they received the birds, they learned there were no perches in their original cages. She says the world is completely new to them and they have to learn how to perch and how to react to humans. And these guys are so docile that when we stick their our, our arms in there, they jump onto our arms. They, have, they don't have the good sense to be afraid of humans because they've never seen any before. Of the approximately 290 parakeets in Kramer's possession, 11 have passed away at this time. The birds are being treated with medications like doxycycline and further medical evaluations will be determined after those meds have run their course. As for adoption... The doxycycline that they're on is a, at least 14 days. If they come back with one of the diseases like psittacosis, it would be a 45-day a 45 day um, course of it, but I, I don't suspect that's the case. I mean, they're in remarkably good health uh, as far as as far as that goes. Um, so I, I don't think we're going to have to wait 45 days, but it's a, it's a possibility. If you would like to donate to Birds and Beaks Rescue and Rehab, you can head over to their website, birdsandbeaks.org. We also have a link on our website, woodtv.com. In studio, Luke Laster, News 8.